Hey guys and gals, I wrote a song that uh, I wanted to share with everyone. It's it's literally just about how amazing God is and uh, how sweet he is. Um, I remember the very first time I realized how sweet God was, was actually when he showed me um, some things that I had done in the past, how I'd done some wrong things. Uh, the Bible calls them sins. And how I, I needed to be washed clean of all of that stuff. He basically said to me, Michael, do you really think that you can sleep with all sorts of women that you're not married to and then die one day, stand before me, and then I'll, I'll have my arms open to you to enter into my kingdom? You've been in direct treason to me, Michael. That can't have any part in you. <laughs> they're hard words you know and but he said do you really think you can watch pornography and desire what is a sacred gift only for those women's husbands and you think you can die one day and stand before me and I'll accept you into my kingdom I've been in direct treason to God anyway I didn't realize that really before. I thought those things were not a, not that big of a deal. Drunkenness, uh, all sorts of things. But what the Holy when the Holy Spirit got in my heart and my mind, it showed me what I'd done was so wrong. And basically all I could do was stand before God and say, God, what must I do to be saved? Because, you know, those kind of words like that, confronting you know, being confronted by your own sins, that stuff cuts you, you know? It cuts you really deeply. And you may be thinking that right now. God, if God is that hateful and that judgmental, I don't want any part in Him. But you're saying that because it hurts when you hear stuff like that. But the reality is, it does hurt, but it's not like the violent blows from some thug. They're actually more like the very tender and intricate cuts of a surgeon's scalpel there's healing on the other side of these wounds if you let there be so anyway i just stand before god and i was said to him god what must i do to be saved and uh, i just remembered he spoke so sweetly about this i i understood really understood for the first time what jesus actually did for me when he died on the cross. And God said, there's nothing you can do. I already did it. For God so loved the world that he sent his only son that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but they will have everlasting life. But the big question there is, what does it mean to believe in God, What does it mean to believe that Jesus died for your sins? Because a lot of people will say, yeah, I believe Jesus died for my sins. But here's where the rubber meets the road. Do you hate your sins? Do you hate the things that you've done that have sent Jesus to the cross? That have caused him to be whipped with a whip all the way down to the bone and to be beaten in his face with people's fists? and spit on and mocked. Those sins that I committed caused that in this beautiful man named Jesus who did nothing wrong himself. I had to come to the point where I hated what I'd done. I would hated those things that God said are rebellion against him. I can't come to God with, with them hanging on my shoulder. That's like a woman coming to her husband after cheating on him and say, Hey, will you take me back? All the while she's got her lover in her arms here. The husband's going to say, No, you got to get rid of that guy first. So that's what Jesus really did for us. He made a way for us to get rid of all the ugliness. <clears throat> so when you set your sins before God at his feet... He will wash them away. He will make you whiter than snow, the Bible says. He will make you a brand new man, a brand new woman, a fresh start, where today maybe you woke up destined for hell, 
the decision you make about what you believe about Jesus, what you really believe, can make it so that tomorrow when you wake up, you're a man of God, filled with God's Spirit, and destined for the kingdom of God. We have an amazing God. I hope you enjoy this song, and uh, I love you. I'll be praying for you guys, and uh, whoever has ears to hear this, let them hear what God's speaking to you in this. God bless you. child exploring through the trees he's so amazed at everything that he sees and oh dear Lord I pray with every breath I breathe that he would see that you're amazing Yeah.